<laughs> hey, there you go. And what you, I guess you could just leave it over there to make sure it's still recording. Uh, what do you mean? Like, like when you hit play up here, hover it over. Oh yeah, that. yeah, hover it. Yeah, I could do that. That'd probably be prudent. Okay, and sync. Salute. This is Jeff, and this is David, and we're playing Equinox. Yay! Today we're going to be exploring the desert, which makes sense. This is Afrolona. We had to take a harp portour. So like a harpurter. A harpurter? It's it's a portmanteau for harp and teleporter. It's a portmanteau is a sandwich. Yes. Okay. It's a good. delicious sandwich. It has actually has ham and egg in it. It's kind of good. Uh, mm. It's like a fried egg in it. Actually, I find that fried eggs make pretty much all sandwiches better. Eggs make Just a in, lot of things. Fried, in fried an egg, it makes everything better. I think uh, it, eggs get a bad rap. Usually, it's relegated to just breakfast foods. And it's not. Eggs it's not. are delicious. Twenty-four hour foods. Now I'm noticing a lot of balls. Yes, there's a lot of purple balls in this level. The that is it is the main sort of interactive object here in Afrolona, the desert level. More slidey blocks. And the upside down pyramids are movie bo movie blocks, but the squares are not. Yeah, at least in this room. In this room. Uh, the, yeah, the new the new spikes are you know the green or I guess teal colored teal colored monstrosities there. I guess they're um, swords at an angle. It might be. Um, really, really dangerous astroturf. <laughs> yes, there we go. Perhaps. Uh, of course, the main problem or the new problem with the circular platforms is that you cannot tell exactly where the edges are. They still have the exact same sort of hitbox as the cubes from all the other levels. Yeah. Cubes, the of course Quagmire had the little cylinders. Yeah. It's getting you prepared for whoa for this. It's a little just a little glitch in the mm. emulation there. Nothing yeah. to worry about. Uh, yeah, this one is particularly hard because if you push it too far, you you're going. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna get stuck in on the. Uh, nope, nope. I've, there we go. Very, it's very hard because um, if you do not, uh, if you don't move at the at the very apex of your oh, jump, you that's what happens. You kind of you kind of slide off the side. You and catch the edge and then you slide, slide off, off the side. side and you kill yourself. Yeah. So this wow. is this is a yeah this is a although. That being said, this is not as hard as uh, Quagmire, I don't think. Afrolona is not too bad. Just is this the only room that's just mean to be mean? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just saying that in general, I got through it faster than some of the other ones. Uh, uh, now, are there a lot of like emulation problems like that one, or is this just the only room that did it? Not too much. I don't even know if that maybe that won't even show up in the uh, final video. Who knows? Oh, uh, but r r right now there's there's some little glitch. Part of the ball is missing there. Yeah, so we can see through it. Hooray! I made it back. That Yay. is Yay. surprisingly frustrating. Um, Afrolona has a few entrances. Um, we'll be jumping in and out uh, a little bit like we did with uh, Atlina, but yeah. not not to the same extent. Uh, the main flow of the dungeon is you need to collect two of every kind of key in order to make it to the boss because the boss is behind. Many, many, many locked doors. Ah, uh, so it's just a corridor. Yes. Whoa! That is a moving block. The whole thing there is just a. This is a. This is the most confusing room. Whoa! Uh, this is the most Escher esque room in the game. Uh, there's no spikes though, so it's really just a screw with your mind kind of thing. Okay. I'll, I'll eventually Whoa. be jumping around to the correct. You just uh, wanted sides. Just wanted everybody's yeah. Just stats. just try and try and interpret this with your mind. Um, I don't know if I can. <laughs> and I fell because oh wait yeah it's coming around and there okay now we can finally get the token. That's and and we're done. That's just that's it's actually more interesting than it is frustrating like because it's, yeah it's just it's, it's a good gimmick. It's just, yeah. it's, it's just a little mind screw. It's, it's a mind like screw. It's not extremely frustrating, as some of these are going to yeah. be. We have some new. There'll be some new block types um, in a second here. And you're just gonna kill everything. Yes. Yeah, so this this is the dungeon where the zap spell gets its workout, where you can see the unlimited power. Now is that's just a of the zap urn spell that you just jumped on. Yeah, the urns are uh, just you know just level objects. Huh. Some there are some urns later that have. Diagonal slidies, slidey things, where they do not slide in a single direction, but two directions. Same wow! So it literally does go up. Yeah, it does. Literally goes right. up. Yeah, relatively speaking. 
Wow. Continue on here. Uh, laziness. I'm just gonna zap you, cause why not? Is that how you kill most of the enemies in this? Yeah, game? there's a surprising amount of uh, magic potions that you can get, so you might as well just use your magic for something. And just zap them all. Yeah. Oh. Didn't quite make it. Again, it's I, the ball. I, you, you think you might be able to make it, but you have to remember throughout this dungeon that uh, the hit boxes are actual boxes. You can it'll it'll look like you're floating on nothing. This is this is the new block type for this uh, level is disappearing blocks. That's screwed up. So so now when you step on them, you can't see anything. anything but the hitbox is still there, so you can wander around, um, fall off, of course, and die. This will, which will be happening, you know. Don't worry, it will be happening soon or later. Just a lot of dying. Yeah. Uh, the reason I'm going through this entrance first is because it has the most keys, obviously here. Wow, that was uh, useful. Uh, we're going to spiral around in order to get the rest of the tokens and keys. So we're going to be taking from this entrance, uh, let's see, a, a northwest, and then curve around, um, and then we'll end up at the uh, sort of the hidden exit of the of the level. Which we'll get, it's hidden. I mean, it's necessary to proceed, but it is on its own island that you can't access the other entrances from. Oh. So anyways, well, this white gate will take us around to a long passage that will... Like, refreshing pause. All right. So we'll just stand here and we'll, we'll let Glendall collect his thoughts. Yeah. All right, Glendall. And... and wow. Just, and we're back. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Resync the audio. Everything's all right. Yeah. The, the trick for this one here is that you can't actually push that, that uh, the ball off a little bit, so... This little angled jump will get you to safety. Wow. And even though they're pyramids, you can't, like, snake around it. No, no, of course not. The, the hitboxes on the pyramids are the same, just cubes, uh, as always. So, those Ru are swords, rumored spiky and, death, yeah. swords and boxes now. This one, this one is a very... This is a good puzzle. This one took a very, very long time, like, first time, to try and figure it out. Both of the top balls here can't be moved, as you can see. Uh, but... If you just push it over there and try and jump on it, you won't, you don't have enough height, so you'll you'll just die repeatedly. Mm -hmm. uh, so you actually have to use both of them. Um, there's going to be some slidey slidey spikes actually that will be in use here. Slidey spike. The the important part about setting this up is that you not push it all the way to this edge because if you push it all the way to the edge, the first ball anyways, you're going to be unable to get around and push it. Wait, both of those balls? They do. Oh. The top and the bottom. We'll be pushing the top off so that it'll it'll slide across the spikes. Uh, obviously, don't push it too far. You'll end up on the spikes yourself. So, so just kind of slowly, and then there, it'll it'll land on the other one because there's no momentum really. It's it's, it's just, just it'll just stop there. Right. Okay, and this is the reason why you did not push it all the way so that you can push it down. So that it'll so that it'll make a little staircase for you. Oh. Uh, so how long did that 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 take you as a child? Oh, I don't know. I don't know that we ever, me and my brother ever beat this <laughs> as kids. I think we got to Quagmire. And we didn't. Even, this we didn't even know Afrolona was a thing. <laughs> we did not even know it existed. Man. So you so you got to uh, to Quagmire. It yeah, absolutely and killed you. And yeah, pretty much, just like. And then, uh, but we always we had the original. We had the cart for the game. I mean, the original SNES version. Yeah. So I mean, later on in life, you know, we replay the old games and we're just like we're we beat Equinox, we do it, let's do us beat Equinox. So we're like Afrolona, there's another level, there's another level after that, there's another level, oh, there's three the more three levels, levels after, after Quagmire. Quagmire. Yeah. It's like, huh? How about that? This is a pretty, uh, in it's an interesting looking level. It, it, it follows the bright color aesthetic as the rest of the game does. It is. It is a very pretty. It's very game. colorful. We have these uh, these moving blocks. Frustrating. Yeah. You, you, well, you can see exactly why they would be. Yeah. You have to you, do a lot you, of hopping. You got to screw with the timing yeah. so that it would work. And for the twelve tokens already. That's good to know. Hey, your uh... room of spiky death. This requires an angle jump to get from this one to that one. Wow. Yes. Uh, that is. It's not as hard as it looks. It's hard. Right. But yeah. Okay. It's not ridiculous. Uh, we also have you know we also have knights again. Yeah. Knight enemies. There's not any new enemies though. I think this the enemy types are. Done. They're exhausted. Yeah, exactly. Just 
Same old, same old. Sink. Okay, and we just killed the knight. All right. Uh, recording part two of this Next voiceover. A bit of a... Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Bit, a bit of yeah. an issue there, but that's all right. We're back. Cool Edit Pro does not like us trying yeah. to do this. Not, at the, not, not with my, my uh, USB preamp anyways. No. Especially also since I'm running video and re audio recording and... There's a number of things going on. That's right. Internet. Yeah. And it's a little, a little behind the scenes yeah, oh, for you there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, but we are going to get a new weapon soon because that sword is Crap. really crappy. Fortunately, each new weapon is better than the last one, so we don't have to worry Even about. So the twin dagger did more damage than the dagger. It wasn't just. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think I do believe that it, each each new weapon does something like an extra point of damage. Don't quote me on that. I, I don't know the exact mechanics of it. Uh, I do know that you shoot things, they die faster. Yay! Yay! Clap, clap. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm fairly certain they don't have an HP list. Uh, you somewhere. might you might be wondering, how do you get that apple? Yeah. And you'll still be wondering, because I don't figure it out. <laughs> you don't know yet? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even bother. This this is the, the best part to use the zap spell on. Because this, this token, it'll just come right to you. You don't even have to worry about it. Just... Zap the guy, his token falls out of him. Wow. And just go. We're gonna this neck this corridor of this is zap corridor coming up. This is this is leading into getting our new weapon, so Yeah. It's uh, a a pretty obvious secret area here, which will lead to our uh, our new weapon for the dungeon. So 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 you mean the uh the Porculus and the enemy are not guarding just a blank wall? <laughs> yeah, i I'm I wouldn't put it past them. There's a few uh, uh, blinking gates, which means all the enemies have to be killed. <laughs> That's what the zap spell is for. Nice. Die, 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 die. That, um, in this room, although you didn't see it because I blew them all up before you could, there's about eight uh, knights. Wow. It is a powerful spell. All right, there's our new weapon. It is the scimitar. Yay. Whoa. We need to get to it, though. <laughs> so... Whoa. There's some invisible blocks here. We need to get height. Uh, now, you can move this block. You cannot move it from this direction until you move it from the other direction first. This is probably just a glitch. I don't know if this is specific to this particular build of the game that I have, but but I, it's just it's bizarre. This it, it adds to the frustration if you don't know that's what you have to do <laughs> because you're like, I wonder if I can push this. Okay, I can't push this. What's the next solution? And then you go on for 30 minutes trying to figure out where the invisible blocks are until you realize that the thing that you did first was the right answer. This will take you all the way across if you just wait here. <laughs> Another one. And of then them. invisible balls. All right, we finally have a scimitar. Yay! This is very fast and very powerful. Whoa! Very, very quick. That's ridiculous. It's very nice, very nice. And I'm, I'm, just, I'm just playing on the invisible balls. <laughs> okay. Alright. So, yeah. So, <laughs> my, my computer is kind of it's kinda freaking out a little bit with the. Yeah. That's too much. Yeah, too it's much, it's too awesome. much, too fast, yeah. yeah. Alright, this uh, this will actually conclude the first part of Afrolona. Join us All next right. time cool. on Let's Play Equinox.